Hello guys, I am XOOX and welcome to this little video where I'm gonna show you three secret places that I believe that most players haven't discovered yet. But to begin with, uh, I want you to do me a favor, also yourself a favor, is to empty your bags. You're gonna repair and you're gonna make sure you bring, bring some food that replenishes stamina so you can work effortlessly uh, for a good period of time. And to my personal preference is doing it with eggs with the spiced tea and with the grilled yucca fruits. Uh, also, if you have the items available, the hawk chest, the eagle eye boots, eagle eye trousers and hawk gloves all help you getting good long glides as well as climbing and so on. Well, there's nothing less, nothing more to say about this than actually just going to the first place. Now we're going to be fast traveling and if you have the option to, or you need it, um, we're going to go to Hindleway Spire, and just like that. Now, this video is not going to concern the obvious gold chest that many of you may already know about. We could just briefly go to one of them, actually, which is down here. But the real marker of interest is right next to it. So, you know, let's do that. Let's go to the gold chest over there first. Now, I'm going to equip the food here, if I haven't already taken it. I have eggs and spiced tea, we just need the yucca fruit. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna quit the hawk gear just for this location because I know I can make it over there. I also have the ghost glider, which of course helps me get a lot longer glides. So, we're gonna land at the gold chest located right here. Root stuff, epic. That's a decent loot. But the real interesting POI is actually here. And I discovered this while thinking, why would they make locations like this if they didn't have a purpose? And it turns out they do. You just have to put a little bit of effort into it to discover it. And that you do by digging sand. And what I found out is that beneath all this sand is see a stairway down to hidden riches and now we're down you could kind of open this up in case you panic and have to run out again because there will be some enemies down here that could present a challenge since it's level 30s even for my gear and so on they can still beat me up pretty bad if i'm not careful but play it down first guys here can see just taking two hits took quite a toll on my health bar. I would encourage you, I'm not going to do that now, but I would encourage you to destroy every urn down here because they do contain potions and other useful materials uh, often. So. But for now, we're just going to go straight to the chests. Take out the first guy here. As you see, we encountered several of these in the beginning already. Which requires you to be a bit careful, so you don't get overwhelmed. And we already have our first chest here. Of course, it's just a tomb chest, and it's only quotation mark silver. So, but it can still contain some interesting items. So let's just open it. We got the club of the defiance. So. We can go down here, and well, no, let's do that because there's a hidden door. Another silver chest. Oh, that's the first legendary. If you're all plain. And nothing here. Well, let's. You couldn't go down there as well, but let's go this by way or direction first. Continue down the stairs. You have your first enemy here. He spots you pretty fast. Just want to get a few hits in on him before he comes. Okay, another one here. Or two, actually. Let's 
see, we didn't forget anything here, no. Nothing here. Another chest. I kind of shine through the door. <laughs> Making it not so hidden. Oh, we got the eagle eye chest. But that's an endgame armor. Nice. We got another stair down here. As you can see, there's oh, single skeleton guarding this chest. Let's open up. Meat chopper. This has um, random loot in it, so it can be legendary. I'm just climbing back up. Down here, I'm not. Uh, there's not nothing really down here except this guy. So it's kind of a dead end. But we're just gonna finish right anyways. So just to show you, empty tombs. There are no hidden doors here as well. So yeah, nothing to find. And of course, again, make sure to grab these because, as you see, there are various kinds of materials lying in these. That's it for this wing. So we're gonna climb back up. Whoops, not that way. And then we go down the other way. That's where we came down. Going about this way. Another hidden door. Got the yellow boot. And some bones. And that concludes this tomb. Oh, got this one. But this one is almost always empty. Or not almost, it is empty every single time. So well, that's it for this tomb. Let's go find the next one. And basically just fast travel out of here. Unless you have other plans. So we got one here. The next one is here. Now, I did make an, uh, an altar here on that little hill, but I would like to go from this point, the Nomad Highlands fire, and see if I can glide as far across as possible. And for this, you do need the Hawk set, I believe. Or at least it helps because you, you know, you're sure not to run out of, because it doesn't deplete the stamina so fast. And this one helps for you to climb if we need that. But let's just mark the spot here. And get up to a good high point. And what we're aiming for is actually the, sorry, let's see, over here by the gray hills and the grass. You want to land on the ledge there. But just right of it because you can't make it up on the other one. So let's see. The kind of where I'm aimed at now. Because the inclination there is uh, exactly so steep that you can actually get up. And by wall climbing, I'm jumping a lot. See? And that's not possible from the ledge down there. Not as easily as at, at least. So we're gonna go do a bit of high ground here. Just to make sure we can easily get to the spot. You don't have to, but I just find it easier to do this. And then keep right, don't go higher, you don't have to. And what we're looking for is the exact same kind of ruins. And we just went into a, a tomb. Oh, scorpion. Just running across here. At some point we will get to a place where we can kind of jump out. Oh, I think these guys have been taken by a dragon, right? Yeah. Basically, you can just fly from here and then down to the ruins. And so you can see, same concept. Basically, just dig the same place.
And you can see this is where the uh, you have brewed the water and the eggs help to dig without having to break up. Come on, let's get to this. Uh, that should do it. So, same uh, idea here. Except this place is level 21, so it's not so bad. And also, in the first part here, we have a hidden door. I just want to take out this skeleton guy first. Can't see him here. Again, destroying the urns to pick up loot. Got a secret door here. No more chests, but it does have, you know, healing potions, so it's worth it. And we've got a secret door here. Silver chest. Oh yeah, remember to pick, uh, bring lockpicks or make them as we go along. Back bow. Not impressive, but, you know, still a little bit. I'm gonna come across. Go down. These two guys protecting a chest. Also, these green skeletons have a lot of souls. Well, that actually helps a lot as well. Crackling wand, twenty-one. And then we've got the main chest down there. I just want to get rid of this guy. a single skeleton. There we go. Let's see. Arrow striker. 21. So not impressive for in game, but you know, something. And then a few chests with just mats in it. Don't bother trying to dig this out. I did do that. There were no hidden secrets behind this. It's just a cave in the wall. So back up. Mind the spears. Go down here. Not just here, but if we come around. And basically, if you don't want to, you don't have to fight these guys. You could just zoom past them. Hunter's bow, 21. Just zoom past them and then grab the loot and get back out. Uh, by jumping and gliding and so on. So, just doing it the regular way to show you. Nothing here. And we've got the chest here. And another one here. That includes that part. So we can go back this way. And then we're just in the need of no that's the exit. I think what's that is it? I think that might be it for this actually. So yeah, that concludes this tomb. As you see quite a few chests. And then we have the last place, which is located over here. And for that we need to go to Hindleways again. We get a good glide. I'm just gonna... No, you guys are okay, so we're gonna keep that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we need this direction, right? And what you're aiming for here is actually, let's see, did I go around that way? I think I tried to go over there. We can do that again. Let's see if I remember correctly. Because either you have to go through the cave right there, 
in this round. Or you can kind of do a middle stop here. And see how far we can get across. But you kind of need a high vantage point to get up high enough to glide across. Because it's located just up here next to East Lapis. Let's see. Yeah, can't get high enough. We actually need to go up there if we needed to glide further. Uh, so we could use that cave over there, probably. Let's try and do that. Now, the issue being, is it going down or up? I can't remember. We're just gonna go into that. If it goes up, all is well. You might find a few, you know, let's just take these because they're on the way. Sulfur. No boxes. Always try to get boxes because they could contain uh, ore. But it seems like this is a dead end, right? No. Over here. Oh! I haven't found this one yet, so pleasant surprise. 25 bronze sword. Epic. Nice. Can we get further up? Or is that it? Well, that was a little extra bonus for you. <laughs> and for me. <laughs> so, let's get back down. And we take the route I would normally take. So you want to head over to the cave passage that is right southwest of the East Lapis. Let's see this guy. We have to come up under this arch here. Which, if you were to fly from Kindle Waste, you can basically land here. Around this point. No, sorry, that's further on. You would land over here. Down by this passage. Under this arch. And then you're gonna... Oh, not enough stamina. And you're gonna go through this cave. And there is a chest as we come along the corner here on your right side, but most of the time it's items that I don't find useful for my part. I can just take it for now. Okay, this time it was arrows, so you know, kind of useful. Um, and then we have the bugs spawning here. Just run from them and then Everything will be okay. Just keep going up, up, up. And eventually, we get to this point where we exit just below East Lapis. But we're gonna hike to the right. And we're gonna do it here. Uh, let's see, up here. No. Let's just wait. Oh, we ran out of UK. So, that bug was up. Just to, to avoid any mobs, because the place we want is over there. Dragon might be interested in you. We're only interested in the tomb. And rinse repeat. Let's go down here and try to take notice if any of those NPCs or enemies followed you so you don't get jumped suddenly uh, let's just uh, let the UK do its magic there we go and notice now uh, I forget this all the time I'm still wearing my flight suit so I'm just gonna put back my fighting suit it. Whoops. Like that. At least the chest is the important one for me because it takes a lot of the damage compared to the uh, the Hawkeye. I have the same door here. The is gonna be on me. So 
level 25, so take notice, they could destroy you if you're not careful. Again, urns are good. These weren't. <laughs> not count the base. Appreciate it. This guy needs to be clean. Again, I'm picking these up because of the salt. Because I use a lot of that. Go through. Oops. Yeah, I forgot that about this place. There's a single rat on here. Or two. But you know, it's basically just a trap. So, get back up. Jump across. Forgot about the secret one here. Again, another empty one. Right, let's get out. Come down here. Here's slam work nicely. Now we've got this there down here. No chest, but one here, mud unguarded. Crackling one, 25 rare. Again, random drop, so could be anything. Even uh, legendaries. What about this one? Ah, he must have followed me. Ouch. Keep it door. Oops. <laughs> Bike row 25, but common. So that's once a salvage. At least for my part. Let's see if I get this place. Yep. Jump across. More mud. And then we're back out, I think. Yeah. So let's just check to see there are no hidden passages we're missing here. God damn right. Nope. Nope. Coming across. Doing the same here, just to check. And again, the reward might lie in the contents of these urns. This is the opening, yeah. So I thought we took a detour one place, so I might want to find that. Uh, around here. So we went down there. We can go this way instead. Is that where we come out? That's probably where we come out. So this tomb is quite smaller than the other ones, but it still has something, you know. But let's just zoom out. We're gonna go to Ancient Spire. And yeah, I really wanted to keep this video short. You probably already know lots of the other places with gold chests. Uh, otherwise, here is the map that shows both the location of the secret spots I found, as well as the gold chest I know about. So, this was the first marker. As you can see, just below Oasis, just below Kindle Wastes, there's a ruin. The second one we went to, over here by Nomad Highlands, we go down southeast next to the Vuka cave passage, passage, but up high. So you can't really get to it unless you can glide over across here and be able to walk. It's not very easy at least. And the final one, located here, south of East Lapis, Aaron's Long Keep, where you glide from Hindle Wastes, and you glide all the way to this cave passage and run up and to the right. Uh, other places that are go obvious gold chests, this is the same staff spawning every time. A legendary in-game staff. Up here in the Sun Temple you have the Ghost Glider. Around here on the back you glide from Kindle Waste across here. And you land roughly... Let's see, how is it? I think we land here actually. 
and then you can run across here and drop down on a ledge behind the mountain. There's a gold chest, which can spawn legendaries. We had the gold chest we took initially from beneath the palm tree, just next to the ruins. Then we have a gold chest here in the settlement, scavenger settlement, shore watch. The uh, chest is in a tower that you can basically glide all the way to and drop right down on top of. Uh, I found a silver chest here in a, a basement of a, a building. Then we have the sun temple over here, which has a gold chest. You have to fly from this side if you have a good glider. I made one up here on top of Pillars of Creation. And then you can kind of jump up to the castle that is located. It has a platform. Glide from that and you can land uh, around here. And then you can walk up across and jump down. Once you've taken that, you can walk out the temple, across the bridge, walk over here. By the scavengers, deep cut camp. They have a cave where there's a gold chest inside. And south of Bounty Barn, it has a silver chest uh, by itself. But if you have a Kindle West access or made an altar nearby, you can glide down here, run past, and drop down this mountain. Right beneath it, there's a gold chest. And basically, you know, always sun symbols like that one and that one. And the haunted one will have gold chests as well. So there are plenty of options to farm. What you need to be aware of, I wouldn't go near Raymond's Keep by the way, because it's not end game level. But what you need to be aware of, there's a reset timer. So normally I would do this, I would do all these locations in one go. Maybe just go back and forth and empty bags once in a while. And then you have to stay away from this area for two hours. Um, because that's the length of time it takes the reset timer to engage. If you come back before the two hours are over, it resets the timer another two hours. So, you know, make a note of the time and stick to it, you know. Um, so don't rush it, don't be impatient. Take your time, maybe spend those two hours, you know, building a base over here in the west, like I did. Uh, my main base is up here in the mountains. So I can easily spend two hours here, and then once those are gone, you can come back, do the whole uh, farming run again. So yeah, I hope you found this uh, video useful, and uh, that's it for now. And uh, yeah, take care, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.